what's up guys welcome back to another episode of life with Andy Mwadha if you're new to this channel hi my name is Andy Mwadha aka Mama Fabian I'd like to welcome you to the life with Andy Mwadha familia if you're new to this channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and join the gang also make sure that you hit the bell button so that you can receive a notification every time that I post a new video Woo! So welcome back to today's video guys or welcome back to my channel again if you're a repeating subscriber welcome back welcome back if you're a new subscriber karibu sana so today we're going to be talking about dating as a single parent whether you're a single dad or a single mom stay tuned into this video and make sure that you watch it till the end as i give you my two cents on what um i think dating as a single parent should be so let's get on into the video so guys, hey, there's nothing, I don't say it's hard, but there's nothing as difficult as dating when you have a child. You understand? Especially like, obviously if you're back in the dating scene, it means that you and the father of your child or you and the mother of your child did not work out for whatever reasons um, and you guys probably uh, couldn't find a way to resolve your issues. So you both of you decided to part ways and that's totally fine. That's totally okay and you've decided to co-parent your child so you decide now that you want to get back into the dating scene into the streets of Nairobi where there is a violence <laughs> violence is activated and people are staying dangerous my friends in the streets of Nairobi so when you decide to start dating as a single parent there are so many factors that you have to put into place and the number one key factor being not your child yourself you as a mom or you as a dad have to sit down and actually evaluate if you are ready to be in the dating thing dating scene again what do i mean by that i mean like you know like you don't jump from one relationship or you don't jump from a relationship that you thought because especially if you're having a kid with someone in most cases you thought the relationship was going to go like um till the end like you're going to be with this person till the end and then it just happens that that didn't um end up being the case and now you're back to square one so as a single dad or as a single mom you have to evaluate yourself re-evaluate who you are because probably there are high chances that the person that you were um, with the father of your child or with the mother of your child when you guys started dating or when you guys started being together is definitely not the person that you are now because I believe and I know that parenthood changes someone it really changes you it really changes the way you think it changes the way you perceive things it changes how you want to carry yourself moving forward so as a single parent it is very important for you to evaluate those factors about yourself evaluate whether you're ready to get back into the dating scene evaluate if you are ready what am i looking for in a in a partner right now i'm not looking for somebody to become a father or a mother to my child that is going to be a plus and that's now going to be the topic that we're going to talk about next am i looking to just have like casual meetups or i'm looking for someone that i can actually go the long extra mile with and what am i willing to sacrifice or what am i willing to uh what is it called what am i willing to come is it compliment what can you look over kai the word is escaping me what am i looking to compromise in a relationship or what am i looking to compromise when i start dating like there are some things that are just non-changeable there are factors that you cannot change when you're dating someone and there are things that you can be mm, okay that one you neither neither can you get like that one i can look over so you need to also know the things that you can compromise on and the values and the principles that you cannot compromise on and once you figure all those things out or which it doesn't mean that you need to figure them out like you know pop as days go by or as time goes by you're going to like you know um see the things that you like or see the things that you don't like because at the end of the day dating you learn on the job my friend you're going to sit down and say i want this in a person i want this i want my boyfriend or my girlfriend to look like this i want my you know i want the person that i'm dating to be this certain type of way and then they come and they are everything you ever wanted them to be but there are certain things that they do that you don't like but you're like you know what 
I can compromise on that. Like that is something that I can live with and that is something that, you know, I can take in and I, and I can exist with it without it making me feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm settling for less or I'm settling for something that I really don't have to settle for. So all those factors, you really have to consider them when you're starting to date um, after being a parent or dating as a single parent. Another thing, as I was saying, is your child. Um, you know, people normally date or let me say in most cases when parents are dating when single parents are dating they're dating with the agenda in mind that i'm looking for somebody who can be a good mom or a good dad to my child and that is where you go wrong eh that is where you go wrong. <laughs> i'm looking for that meme. What, what was that meme saying anyway Kata. so yeah that's where you go wrong when you start looking at someone as a father or labeling them like as this is the mother of my child or this is the potential father of my child when you start putting labels on people that is where now you put um hopes and aspirations into someone and now you start getting disappointed when this person does not deliver the way you expect them to because now you've put them on a level where they're not there yet or on a level where they're not comfortable being in because you cannot force someone to be a dad and you cannot force someone to be a mom it has to come naturally so um dating as a single parent you have to make sure that you're not putting pressure on the person that you're dating or the person that you're seeing to actually take responsibility for your child let it just be like oh yeah i have a daughter i have a son when the time is right you'll meet them or maybe you'll never meet them because you never know some people just come into your life one month few they've gone imagine if you're giving time to someone or you're giving um this type of privacy and this part of yourself because your child is a very big part of you you're giving this part of you to this person and they just you know they don't take it as seriously as you do and they just up and leave you know you're going to be left feeling like you know this person didn't want me and they didn't want my child they didn't want me because i had a child you know and all those things so to avoid all that to avoid you feeling incomplete and to avoid you feeling like this person is not appreciating you or valuing you the way you want them to value you do not put labels on the people that you're seeing you're starting to see to become fathers or mothers to your children let that be on you you be a mother to your child you be a father to your child but do not expect somebody else to come and take over the role that the biological father of this child or the biological mother of this child left and that way you can reduce disappointments and you can reduce like you know having so much faith and so much hope in someone and then they end up like not being the person that you expected them to be another thing if you're dating as a single parent why are you in a rush to settle to be honest why are you in a rush don't be in a rush to settle because you just jumped out from a relationship that you believed that um you know this person is going to be my all and all that and then now you want to rush and go be the all to somebody else apana relax you know take your time get to know people it doesn't mean actually sleeping with people it doesn't mean like sleeping with everyone that you encounter but enjoy the experiences enjoy um the what is it called Every person comes with their own thing. Like there's something that this person is going to teach you that your previous relationship didn't teach you. You know, Unonanga, that thing that says that I'm preparing you, eh? You're dating your boyfriend, so your boyfriend is preparing you for your husband or something like that. It's, it's actually true. Things like that actually happen because you get to learn things from one person and then you pick those things the good things and you carry them on to the next person that you're going to be with because every person is different everybody likes um being loved different everyone has different types of love languages so you cannot um love one person or you cannot be with one person the same way that you are with uh somebody else so just take your time and actually you know get to know people get to go through experiences go out on dates you know be ex like explore as much as you can and i'm not talking about sexually but even sexually if you're comfortable to be honest we live in the 21st century if that's how you feel go ahead and do it we we'll just you know be careful with who you exchange energies with and be careful of who you give your body to because we all know that energies transfer so if you're with the wrong person and you get the wrong energy that's you know it's going to mess you up so make sure that you actually take your sweet sweet time do not be in a rush 
to actually settle down do not be in a rush to you know give your all to this person bring this person into your child's life you know um giving them the responsibility of actually taking care of your child ah, i can't want to be able to make it today can you please go pick my child for me i'm let's go pick my child together in school and stuff like that you know do not expose your child to this person because you never know um somebody might have the wrong intentions and they're going they might want to hurt you and use your child to hurt you another thing make sure that you follow your intuition if somebody tells if something tells you like i do not like the vibe of this person imagine just get rid of them don't, you don't even have to give an explanation just be like you know what i'm not feeling this anymore so we're not going to do this again be it a guy be it a girl make sure that you actually follow your intuition because your intuition doesn't lie to you if somebody something tells you that this person is pretending or this person is not a good person imagine believe yourself because hey, hey and then you start saying i and i knew it you know but ninge join your time ninge act on it and stuff like that to avoid um doing all that regret having all that regret just follow your intuition learn how to say no if you don't want to go on a date with someone say no if you're not ready to move to a certain level with someone say no if you're not ready to introduce your child to someone say no akuna kitu mtu atakufanyia ukisema be there you guys in this life learn how to say no it's just plain and simple learn how to say no the minute you learn how to say no you'll realize how freeing and easy life is you know because people really be expecting the most after doing the bare minimum and you don't owe anyone an explanation unless you really have to explain yourself out of courtesy out of respect you know you have to explain yourself in some situations not all of them i was even seeing a quote that was saying hey but let me see it was about saying no and I had this when I was in a mat. It was saying, wanna know, wanna know, if you want to know who is really real, start telling people no. And that's what I'm going to close with. If you want to know who's really real in your life, in just anything and everything that you do, learn how to say no. Because there are people who take no's very, very personally and they show you a side of themselves that they've been hiding or they've been camouflaging and pretending to be someone that they're not so when you say no you reveal their true inner person so if you want to know how real somebody really is start saying no anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed um this topic let's engage in the comments and you guys can tell me what you think if you agree with something that i'm saying if you don't agree i'm also here to learn me just give my two cents and i'm willing and open for you know positive criticism so that we can learn from each other because yeah that's how life that's what life is all about so thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell button so that you can receive a notification every time that i post a new video and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to live, love, be anything that you want to be. Bye, guys.